Usually, if this is your first miscarriage, your doctor's likely to say to you that this is not something that's likely, particularly likely to happen to you again, very much more than the next woman, and it's unlikely that they'll offer you specific tests. If you're in a situation where you've had repeated pregnancy losses, and in some places that is three pregnancy losses, we, we look at, at women uh, after two pregnancy losses, we do do some baseline investigations, and some of that is dependent on the individual, and some of it um, is looking at things, for example, thyroid dysfunction um, that can be associated with miscarriage, autoimmune conditions such as the antiphospholipid syndrome, uh, but there isn't a great big battery of tests. And for the most part, actually, it's the supportive care in the next pregnancy that can be really important. Sometimes we also look at the chromosomes of the embryo. Were we to be able to test the tissue from a miscarriage? And that can give us helpful information as to why that pregnancy loss has happened or whether there's potentially any, any inheritable component from the parents that therefore worth looking at.